Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrap and Chew. Today I'll be making a card and sharing a quick tip on how to make a fluffy cloud. The stamp set that I'll be using today is from Gerda Standard Designs. She released several brand new stamp sets and they are super adorable. Look at these adorable bunnies. There's so many possibilities. Her stamp sets are very versatile and that's why I love her stamp sets. So I'll be using uh, the two balloons there and a bunny. And I found this post-it note. This is uh, sticky. It's all around sticky. So it's not only sticky at the top, the entire uh, pad is sticky. So I thought which was great. So I already stamped some and fussy cut them out. Here I've used some Paper Temptress's uh, vellum. These are colored vellum uh, cardstocks, which I stamped the balloons and fussy cut. And I'm also using the Mica Metallic cardstock, which is one of my favorites. Um, I mean, I say it's my favorites, but all of her cardstocks are my favorites. They're great quality, very thick. And here you can see that I cut the center out of it. And you can do this to uh, conserve your cardstock if you like because it will get covered up and that area won't show. So I went ahead and just cut a small stitched square, and I mean a rectangle out of it. The cardstock at the top that I'm using is my favorite again. Um, it is, um, I it just, uh, the classic linen cardstock. I'll be using uh, my Clarity brushes. As you can see, I did order another set. So now I have eight brushes total. This is my latest obsession. So here uh, you can see that I have uh, kind of placed my balloons where I want them. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp uh, my bunny. And you can see the fantastic texture on this linen cardstock. That's what makes these cardstock so special. I've used them numerous times on previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and use the embossing tool because I'm going to go ahead and uh, emboss the bunny using uh, the Versamark here and a clear embossing powder. So the bunny's hand is kind of out there and I'm also embossing the happy birthday that's also included in this stamp set. I'll have the full supply list available on my blog so go ahead and check it out. All the other supplies are from Tiplo Designs LLC. Here I'm using a Milwaukee heat gun. They have discontinued this heat gun, but Hero Arts came out with the brand new gun, which is uh, basically identical. Here I cut out some clouds. So this is using the puffy cloud border die from Lawn Fawn and I cut it out of some uh, packaging. It's like an acetate packaging that you get. I just recycled it and I just cut out a couple uh, clouds here and I'm going to use that as my stencil. I'm using the faded jean here using the clarity brush and I'm just brushing it starting from the acetate down and this is going to create this really soft, subtle, fluffy cloud look. I want the bunny to look like he is flying with the balloons. You can see that he has his uh, hand up by his uh, face. So that's where I'm going to put my balloon strings. And I want him to look like he's flying uh, high off the sky. So as you can see how you can easily create this soft look of a cloud. You can definitely do this with the uh, blend uh, ink blending tool as well. Uh, this was just so much more faster and easier. On the edges, I am putting Mermaid Lagoon because I want it to be uh, slightly darker than the clouds itself. 
and I'm using the same brush. I've dedicated uh, this brush to the blue color family. Now I can have one brush for each color family. So I don't have to uh, worry about um, changing colors. But you can definitely wipe off uh, the brushes and use other colors. I'm going to color uh, the bunny using my distress markers today. I haven't uh, used these in a while, so I pulled them out. I chose out a couple colors. Uh, this is a pumice stone. Here you can see. In this cardstock, the linen cardstock, is not a watercolor cardstock, but it behaves really well with uh, water and uh, sprays. And so you can definitely do watercoloring with, and that's uh, why I'm using this cardstock. Because I knew I wanted to do some um, watercoloring on top. And because of that fantastic texture, which you'll see uh, later on in a close-up photo, how the clouds, um, you can see the texture behind the clouds as well. So here I'm adding some additional darker color. You can either use it straight off of the marker like I am here, or you can um, get a softer look by putting the marker on the craft mat and picking it up that way. I've used both ways for this uh, bunny. I'm just adding some highlights here and there where the shadows would be. And you can see how easily uh, these blend with water. Here I grab the finer brush. So that was pumice stone. I grabbed sponge sugar here because I wanted to give him some pink cheeks as well as some pink uh, shades to the inside of the ears and his little tummy. So I'm adding a little bit. So I'm, uh, I just kind of scribbled it on a, my craft mat and picked it up that way. That will give you a softer look. Sorry, I'm off camera, but I just color the nose using the black, black soot distress markers and now we're going to go ahead and attach this to the uh, mica metallic cardstock and as you can see the center is going to get covered up so this is a great uh, trick if you want to save uh, your conserve your cardstock I rounded the corners using the quarter inch corner chomper by We Are Memory Keepers. Now I'm prepping my 110 pound Nina cardstock. Again, I'm using the corner chomper, all four corners. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this uh, flat using my ATG. Lately, I've noticed that I've been making a lot of flat cards without any dimension. So here, I'm going to go ahead and put some matte medium down. This is a Rangers. And I'm just basically slightly touching the areas where the balloons meet. So the adhesive is not going to really show. And I've added it uh, with my finger in the centers of the balloons. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in my strings. So I'm just having it curved here and there. And now that I have this, this is a Sharpie pen, very fine, and I've colored in the eyes. And now I'm back. I've added some sequins here. And where the balloons touch the sequence, I've also added um, you know, the matte medium so that um, the balloon stays down. And you can see that fantastic texture here through the clouds of this uh, linen cardstock. This is Nina linen cardstock. The color is white. They do have ivory available as well as other colors. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this card. I really like the way it turned out. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That'll let me know that you like the video. So here is a close-up photos. All the supplies will be available on my blog, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.